that sometimes you just don't want to put all that on your friends. And you said I already put a lot on you, so I just stopped. I am not going to put that off on you guys when you have babies in your own life. I'm a big girl. I can handle it myself. But I'm your sister. I understand that, but some things, when it is toxic and you have so many things going on in your life, you have to give it to God. Sometimes I just shut up and give it to God, and I don't want to talk about it. Sometimes I want to come around you guys and I want to have fun, but I can't because y'all always arguing. Can you hug me? Can you mean it? Give her a hug. <laughs> I love y'all. Today I'm going to the beach with my girl Brandy Maxill and her husband Jason Maxill. Brandy is my basketball wife friend. Like my friends, they love me, but they don't understand the lifestyle. They know that I'm going through it, but they don't live it. She gets it, she understands. You know, her and I have definitely grown closer because we basically live the same life. I love this, this is like literally <laughs> our first time having like our all of our entire family yeah. together. Yeah, like I said, we normally do this like just the couples. Yeah. Now. yeah. It's like, oh, you think it'll be kids. When me and Malaysia met, we had an instant connection and we've been friends ever since. This one is what I'm afraid of. Like when the guys go away. We're on our own. I'm literally nervous. Like this is my first time not going with him. Yeah. I almost want to just renege and just get on the plane with him. Like, no, I'm gonna go too. I changed my mind. I don't want to live in LA, but yeah. I have to do what's right for a little day. When you have kids, it's just a whole nother different ball game. It's a like you whole can't keep different ball game. I know how hard it is. <laughs> so how you think I'ma like it like with the girls and everything? Jay is so much fun. And then Jackie is a whole lot of fun too. Yeah. Yeah, she is. She's she's a good time. Jackie reached out to me. She said she wanted to meet at her house. You know, she's been married for a very long time. Yeah. So like getting guidance as far as marital guidance and stuff like that, she is really, really good and hands-on with. I think it's best for me to just get to know her one-on-one -on -one rather than, because you know when you get a group of girls together, they always just analyzing and picking and a lot of other stuff come about, so. Are you done? Jayla, Gennaro, Jaden, come here. Hey, everybody, come here. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, here you go. You and Daddy just come back? Well, the Paragons are happy that the Maxwells are in L.A. Seriously, yeah. yeah. I felt right at home, too. <laughs> this one is Tammy Roman, everybody, in case you didn't know. Hi. Hi. I will say, Tammy got in town. I was talking to her about y'all, so I'm going to just tell you straight <laughs> up. We've had a crew for years that we seem to figure things out. I was like, you should just come and see for yourself. I think she will make it worse. <laughs> you think I'll make it worse? Yes, because Why? We already don't have it together, and you don't got it together. No. I think that everybody thinks that Tammy is this loud, combative female all the time. I don't walk around with boxing gloves on. I keep those in my car. But I am a very nice person, and I think people sometimes don't give me a chance to show that side. The stories that I've heard, I'm just like, what is going on with y'all? What you hear? We throw fries and water, and but you know, it is what it is. Do you really have a mirror here right now? <laughs> Yikes, why do you have that? Girl, I gotta fix my hair. I said I don't wanna see one eyeball in that little ass comeback. I need to see That's my whole face. face. That's affected. That's very affected. I don't need no mirrors. It's several things that are really different about my Miami girls and the LA girls. I think we are a little more established as far as who we are. Don't get me wrong, I care about how I look, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to pick up my kids with 12 pounds of makeup on. Are y'all that skinny? Oh. Girl, bye. I'm just checking. I just think because that's what the word was free, but you know, I just going to clear it up for y'all. I'm strictly dickly. I like. I'm oh, very strictly yeah. dickly. Long dickly, oh, no. okay? There it is. Boom. Cleared that air. If you want me to believe that, I will. Just for you. It's not wrong if you kitty or two. 
Now, who are you? Let me ask you this, though, Shawnee. Mm -hmm. Normally, on our vacation, uh -huh. it is for us to work through issues. Yes. But how are we going to do that if the people that have issues is not here? Oh, yeah. Well, that means we can have a good time. Yeah, we can work out our issues. Hey, do any one of you guys have a problem with me in this room? <laughs> I mean, it's the an issue the with her is always going to be with me. How come when I'm talking to her, you always got to say something? I'm trying to see if I got an issue with her, because she asked the question. So let me figure out if I got an issue with Malaysia. <laughs> oh, you trying it? No. She know I ain't got no problem with her. I would have said it by now if yeah. I had a problem with you. Yeah. So. You got an issue with me, Tammy? I think I was clear. My issue with you is I understand that y'all are a spoon I'm real clear. But you got to wait until something pop off before you jump in. I'm just territorial and I'm guarded and I'm very protective of my friends. I am too. And nobody can tell me different. It comes off a little aggressive though. It does. I mean, that's just how I am. I'm not going to stop. Clearly. I see a lot of myself in Brandy. I used to pop off at any given moment and it didn't take me long to get there. You know, I learned how to count to 10 and maybe she should too. I wasn't telling you to stop being loyal to your friend. I was just saying, yeah, let a moment thing. play out. She knows that like, I'm not confrontational at all. You know what? Yeah, somebody have an issue with her? I'm gonna let y'all see what's gonna happen. I think you should though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got that clear. Brandy, chill out. No need to get an attitude. Please, let's just have a good time. This sensitivity level has got to be brought down at some point in time, soon. It's it's annoying. Brandy, just use your words. Brandy, what? Ooh, that was that juicy. Was <laughs> they laughing about it? Malaysia sees Tammy and Shawnee laughing. I know, I know, I, for the first time, I'm not involved. involved. That was a fool. I'm so not involved. So not involved. But I don't want them fighting each other. Yeah, no, I don't want to see nobody get hurt. But I didn't really take it that serious either. I had enough of it. Now I'm about to put my foot down. Y'all some of ass. Y'all gonna learn to respect me. Feels like y'all like laughing. And you gonna say that? Like, you gonna say that? It's not being sensitive. Let me just, let me just, let me just, so let me tell you what I was laughing at. Action, okay? You don't like hands in my, in your face, don't put it in mine. Okay. Uh oh. Now see, okay, listen, you guys, this. wait a minute, hold on, Brandy. Let me say this. Tammy. Bitch, it's not always about you. And let me explain to you hoes that I wasn't laughing at you. I'm trying to have no, a conversation with you, okay? No. And what I'm and saying, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. With to you. But now you brought me into the mix, and now I gotta stir the pot. You okay, well is. tell your friend to not put your hand and, in my and, face. And, you could just say friend, you don't have to say a friend. But you said, I could, Tammy, I don't wanna go, stop, stop. No, stop. You stop. Tia, I don't want to go there with you. <laughs> but I'm trying to say. talk about you not being in this. Okay. Exactly. You're not going to do this. Instead okay. of bitch, you won't let me in. You ain't in. I know. Okay. Funny. This right here? This you keep saying. Right. Jackie had it wrong with me and Malaysia of calling us the mean girls, because we're not. The mean girls is Tammy and Shawnee. This is silly. Oh, please. Uh, this is silly, because my hair is in my face, and I need a mother hair bone, because I'm not that bitch. We honestly were just laughing at each other. Call them. Man, let's get on the level of the crowd. Need like this is all in Brandy and Malaysia's mind and their perception. But now somebody might get their ass whipped over something that you assumed. Bitch, right here. You bout it. Level. You bout it. Bitch, bout it. Let's be about it. Yes, on this level. Ground. I got okay, your ass. Okay, Tammy. So listen. let me tell you. You can't listen. stop. I'm gonna need you to move or you're gonna get hit inside your head. Not it's not worth it. I'm just a you go. I'm tired of this. Yes, but let me be. be. Don't even entertain that. Please don't. We were just laughing. You're not a part of this. She hate when people put their hands in your face, but she can do this and all this to me. That Woosa. I ain't Woosa. no punk ass bitch. I don't know where that she came from. I ain't no punk ass bitch. Uh -oh. I ain't no punk ass bitch. bitch. Stop, 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 stop. What you got? Oh, here, you're you only husband hoping he play next season. No, no, he will. He oh. will. Oh, he will. That's he ain't ain't um, but we still got that check though. Let go. I know. I'm getting my shoes. Let go. I'm trying to tell y'all bitches we was laughing because I wasn't involved in no. Y'all want to think somebody talking about y'all personally? Can't that mean you. Can't, can't. I don't give. A oh my God. Once again. 
here we are at the sensitivity level. I'm sorry that everything around this group is taking so damn personal. Wait, you I, you I, though, I'm right? I judge, like, like, leave us alone. Y'all don't like us, then don't with us. Like, we giggled you... over here about the fact that I said, bitch, this fight, it's a fight or something going on and you're not involved. I'm proud. That had everything to do with Tammy Roman and nothing to do with either okay. one of you. We took it wrong. That's what, Period. That's fine. We took it wrong. As a group, y'all are toe up. Let me say that. As a group, y'all are a hot ass mess. Hot so ass let me say that to your faces, because I'm going to include the whole group. Y'all a hot ass mess. I don't take personal when somebody like says something to me. I let that go every time. I'm not judging y'all. I don't want to be judged. Can we have a good time? Apparently not. We did yesterday. We did. Shani doesn't realize that when she talks, she talks down. She's trying to dominate the situation. She's trying to be real bossy and like, why are you here just to look at weird joke? Why are you around me? Why did you invite us? So is everybody okay from yesterday? We kind of separated a little bit, caught a breather. Oh, I was fine yesterday. I was fine yesterday too. You okay? That's what it is. They say they cool. We say we cool. We ain't really cool. I'm okay. At this moment, I see Brandy. The way she's looking, I'm like, here we go. Tammy. At the beach, you did some things to me, like pointing and talking to me like this, and I felt like you was trying to like bully me a little bit, like what y'all do in Miami. We don't do that here in LA. Oh. You get what I'm saying? She calls me a bully? Oh, hell no, bitch. You're not gonna give me that title. I can't bully you in some shit you started. Period. End of story. I'm not going to apologize because I was not the start of anything that happened on the beach. Malaysia thought that we were plotting against you guys or laughing at you guys when I'm told that I'm doing something that I know was not the case. Yes, it was going to escalate. It was going to get rude and it was going to get rowdy and it was going to get gully. We were just wrong on that occasion. There's been, been many times where you guys sit back and laugh and judge us and roll your eyes. I would like and to sit. know what occasions those are. I would too, actually. It's um, every. <laughs> like, I think it must so much of you, but really so much of you, Shawnee. Okay, let's be specific about what those occasions are. Okay. You're just always rolling your eyes, and I feel like you're constantly judging this group and comparing this group to Miami. We're childish. Or we're petty. I said or we're that. immature. I said that? You make it as that. No, did I say that? What I said was the topics and things that you guys sit up and argue about comes off real childish. That's okay, what I so said. So that's exactly what I said pretty that's much. That's not exactly what you just said. I said when we're talking or when we're having conversation or we're doing stuff. You said that saying, I said you're childish. I said the things that you guys sit up and argue and talk about seem petty and childish. But do you get that you're still judging? You get that that's kind of the same no, thing? No, you asked me my opinion. You're still judging okay, go us. Ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish your point. Go ahead. And I'm stating why I feel bothered because I feel like you're that's, judging that's us. That's fine. 24-7. That's fine. You're disrespecting us. By what? This attitude. What you attitude have attitude is that? That. You would not sit here in my face and continue to disrespect me and make it seem like I'm less than or you more than me or better than me. That's not going to happen. You're not going to keep talking to me like I'm some peasant and you better than me. You not. Get that correct. So if you think that it's so childish and it's so petty, why do you keep coming around? Because this is my group. If you want to keep it real, Brandy, so this is your group. I technically brought you to this group. I get that this mm -hmm. is your group, mm -hmm. but however, you belittle us. Girl, please. Ain't nobody belittled you. If you want to be sensitive, that's fine. I'm not being sensitive. God I'm damn. speaking for I don't have time okay, to put damn diapers you, on Shani, women. You ain't got to put no mother but diaper on me, like but this. you act like a bitch. What did she just say? Hold on. Shawnee is the executive producer. It's her show, it's her franchise. You could hear a pin drop. Bitch, please, don't insult me like that. I worked hard for this I will be that bitch okay. for you. Okay. I will be That's that fine. bitch for you, boo. That's fine. Damn, Shawnee, you're gonna be that bitch? 
I've never seen this side of Shawnee before and I'm just kind of scared because I don't know what she's going to do next. Shawnee, I've never way. ever wanted cool. to disrespect you. You but just I do did. Not and that's all like that matters. The way you that just you disrespect did. me. Cool. I do not like, like I that. Like I said, Brandy. Like the I that comes out of your mouth. It's just, bitch. I don't like I it. I will be that bitch. No, you're because not that bitch. That bitch. You're just a kid. You're just a kid. I am that bitch. That's it. my mother references. What the hell are you talking about? Like, at this point, I'm like frustrated because Brandy has come for my character. All I'm saying is you disrespect. You act cool. like you're better than this group. Okay. At the end of the day, you act like you're better okay. and you have this little snobby ass attitude All and right. you treat us with disrespect. You're not going to keep looking down girl, on me like I, I can't. Am insecurity. I'm not, I, don't I cannot help insecurity. Your insecurity. You can pull the card of what you have, what your last name is. You can pull the Never card of that, what boo. you have. You can pull up your EP credentials, and it's disrespectful. And you never have to, but you never are. Have. So therefore, never you have. still treat us disrespectfully. Card with you, have but you're doing it now. You, you are that bitch. You are a bitch. For you, Miss Brandy Maxiel, let me put that bitch on today. Thank you for your services. Lights out, drops Mike, and walks off the stage. Brandy assassinated her character, and she just had to do what she had to do. I don't know if this could ever be settled. I feel like everyone is lost for words, and I'm just done. This is, I'm done with this group right now. surfaced because that's the Shawnee that I know. But I feel secure in saying that Brandy, take your little one-way ticket on back because you've just been cast off the island. She was ready for straight combat. It's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, 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 wait! Somebody's in there. Somebody's in there. My friend is outnumbered. I can't have that. I really didn't care who was gonna get it. I just knew that somebody was gonna get it. What's the deal? Girl, first we started with Tandy. Like we were talking about the whole apology and all this other stuff. Started giving her opinions how she feel I should do this and do that and all this other stuff. I was like, I've already apologized. I'm not doing it again. And then Angel Love goes, but wait, did Shawnee start this? Is she our founder? Is she the reason why we're all here? And it's like she's recapping Stephen, something. Wait, what happened? Who punched who? So we tried to walk off and then Angel started talking as we walked to the bitch? back. You said Angel said bitch. But I heard bitch. But Andy said she didn't say bitch. And then Angel Love said, if I said bitch, what so what? Like, I'll call you bitch if I want to call you a bitch. So where's she at? She left, because she already I mean, she my size, my height. We can do this. Girl, what? What's up? Why you dressed in tennis shoes with that badass truck right there? What's I mean, thou shall not f with my best friend. Ooh. I got my bed because there was some problems. Where's the problems? <laughs> Malaysia in sweats, sneakers, hair pulled back, no makeup on, just ready to fight somebody. Hi. Hey. Super, super classless, tacky. Can we take this inside? Oh. I, left my, I left my truck in the middle of the road. Okay, you so go home with the baby. Me. Good night. Ain't nobody gonna mess with Brandy. We going home. Take your ass home and don't call her no more. Oh establishment. I'm so sorry. I need to go. For real. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm out of here. Doug is gonna lose his mind. I've been the one to jail, girl. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye. Make sure she's straight. Thanks for calling for Randy. I appreciate that. <laughs> that was some gangsta right there. I will ride with Malaysia from this day forward. like an awkward 
silence going on, and it's just like, Shawnee, you the boss, right? You started off. You had your posse come to me telling me I need to apologize, so yeah, you started. Okay, Whew. enough of that now, y'all. She's been drinking, she's been drinking. With all due fairness, I had had a little bit of my bassard on the way because, you know, you have to get ready for a situation like this. Am I taking this? Somebody. Okay, you guys, I think that we all came together because we want to definitely get some kind of resolution on all the different issues that's going on. When I keep hearing different people, you know, like Tammy brought to my attention that I should apologize to you. Jackie brought it up numerous times that I should apologize to you. I'm confused because we've already talked. Well, from my understanding, you had an issue with some interview that I supposedly did mm -hmm. and talked about you. I just need to know what that interview was. It was an interview back in December. You did an interview stating how I called you a million times, reassuring my job. Is that not accurate? No, that's not accurate, because I didn't call you a million times. OK, I don't think anybody about... calls anybody a million times. Let's OK, I didn't call you 20 times. times. I didn't call you You called me several times, times. so that was next? my a million times. Boo, first of all, when people say a million times, they don't literally mean a million times. Just throwing that out there. Um, but you did call me a few. I did not call you over and over pertaining to my job. You asked me specifically, do you have a job? OK. OK. I just have a problem with the fact that you just feel that just because you think that you're the boss, that you have to keep having this attitude and this I'm this and I'm that. My thing is this. If you want me to respect you, then I, don't I would really care so, but you have me. to respect me. Honestly, I don't really care how you feel about me personally. The bitch thing was never really an issue. Every single time I hear about a group of ladies getting together, it's Brandy was saying, she don't give a about you. You don't do you ain't nobody, you didn't do nothing. That's where the problem is, for me. Shawnee feels because of her title that she can't be disrespectful. She's used to people bowing down to her, being her yes man, and kissing her ass. It's just not gonna happen, not with me. I never came at you on no boss, like I'm your boss, Brandy. Never, you ever. Did. Well, thank you for your services. The conversation before thank you for your services was that she said, you you don't appreciate what I do. You don't appreciate me. And I said, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your services. Period, Brandy. OK, you're right. Am I wrong? You're right. Malaysia, you're you always there? right. If you're going to belittle what I'm trying to say, then I I'm not going to say it. Because you're talking about it. Because I'm telling me something, and I'm, and I'm correcting you, you. What it was. OK, no, I'm done. Wanna... The light bulb isn't as bright for Brandy. Shawnee's not a vindictive person, but if you come for her, she's going to retaliate, OK? So get that, Brandy. I don't see how you don't already. Look, look, flag on the play, OK? So listen, this no, is going, this is going no, like completely not, not the way that we wanted it to go. We're all beautiful women. We can all learn from each other. And yes, right now, we kind of got our asses on our shoulder because of who's the boss, who's not the boss. But I feel like we're all here to learn from each other and love each other. We shouldn't be fighting each other and competing with each other and who's the boss and I'm not right. the boss. I like, totally we, agree. I, let me just that. make this clear, and I'm, your point is well taken, and I totally agree. I've never had a problem with who's the boss, who's not the boss. It's not even, I don't even run like that. But I am literally done with you, though, Brandy. We are all tired and drained. Hey, guys. Look who I found. Hello. I knew you was stupid. I didn't know you was deaf, too. I told you already that I did not want to be around this young lady. Brandy. Hi. This is about to be a problem. We need to get my girl out of here quickly. Are we walking I don't know. Hey. Hi. How are you? Hi. Little girl, sit down. Yeah, I'm leaving. What's going on? Why are they leaving? What the? I don't know. Is there a problem? Are they serious? I'm done. So are we lying now? Yeah, completely. Maybe we should follow What's them and see on? what the Brandy wait, wait. Brandy, wait. wait. So Brandy and I walk in and I'm like, hey guys, look who I found. It's Brandy. But all three of them bitches got up like they was SWV at a concert in 1990, child. Boom, together, walked out, boom. I was like, wait, what happened? Guys, we gotta add her. Please do.
literally 24 hours before we sat at that table, Tammy made it very clear that she did not want to be in Brandy's presence because she did not want another Portugal moment or a moment where she did something that she possibly would regret. So best thing for us to do is get the hell out. I, I really, well, Tammy feels like you were instigating the Duffy situation. How did, how, did I, how did I do that? I don't know. I want to be the person to choose the people in my space. And based on the fact that you ambushed me, I think it's best for me to walk away or I'm gonna have to punch you in your face. Are we gonna play this game? Did I miss something? Like, I know I've been gone for a minute and been under a rock, but this is crazy. So no one here is gonna say a word to me. No one. So if somebody has a problem, is it, do you feel threatened? This is why we don't want to be around Brandy Maxfield. Here you come following, like poking the bear. All I'm thinking is, please, Tammy, don't say anything because we are not having Portugal on the Palm Springs streets. Mmm. Someone wants to seem like they have power, huh? You guys, is there any way we can at least talk about this? What in the hell is going on? I'm shocked. My clams just got there. No, it's childish. They want to be childish for whatever reason. Because I didn't do anything to any of them. But they're standing beside Shani. But that's cute. I let it be. Did we act like that when they came to our turf? No. Did we act like that when they came to our turf? Did we open them with our welcome arms? seen Brandy in about three years. I feel like, here we go. <laughs> like, oh no, please don't start this right here at this woman's wedding. What are you? What's up with you? You in a I know. You didn't know. We have mutual friends. We don't have mutual friends. We do. We do not. We do. Nobody told me that. No one told you that, Malaysia. No one told me that. Malaysia, everybody in the nation knows that we're My dad passed about a month ago, and so many people supported me through, you know, the last couple of weeks of my dad passing. But Malaysia did nothing. Okay, Brandy. I didn't know that, and I'm so sorry because I did not know that. Thank you, so, Everybody knew that was bad. Okay. You died a month ago. I did not know that. You know, but it's okay. I get it. Bye. She can fake and play like she didn't. I know she knew. It was my dad that lived with me. It was my dad that she knew, and I'm not gonna play the games that she didn't know. spoken to Brandy in forever, uh -huh. and she, apparently, her father died, and okay. I didn't know. Like, literally, we have none of the same friends. We don't talk to each other. We haven't spoken in ages. And if I didn't know, I didn't know. She knew. We have mutual friends. That's up. You know, she knows him and everything else, but it's just, don't be a bitch. This is a love event, and so if I am the problem, I'm going to remove myself. I don't have it in me. Oh, my God. I don't. I feel like Malaysia's holding back some of what's going on because it's my wedding night and I can read it in her eyes. This is a lot deeper than she's letting on. Malaysia? Malaysia? Is she going through something? her. I had to look twice. 
nice. Come this way, come this way. Hi, hey, boo. Hi, Thanks, Vida. How are you feeling today? I had better days. Is your energy okay? Not really. But Wait, I'm here. What's going on? What's like? Oh, I had some family issues. Yeah. So. Malaysia wants me to give a shit about her family issues, but she doesn't give a shit about me and my family issues. All right. I don't get your energy. What is your bad energy? My bad energy. Me. 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 I'm asking Self. you, what is your... Me. Your... I, your... I your what is your bad energy? I am going through something with myself. It has nothing to do with you, ladies. Malaysia, and I, I kind of think that's that. a cock bull It's not. You, always you don't come know. Around, you don't know me. You come no. around. I know you. You come around and you sit there and say, oh, it's bad energy. It's I not bad energy. energy. What it is, you have a character me. flaw. I'm just literally trying to connect with everyone and she's coming down my throat. You are attacking me. I'm not attacking yes, you. Yes, you are. To you. Brandy is screaming out that I have a character flaw. No one is perfect, including her. So now you're attacking. a victim? No, I'm not a victim. You want to go talk? No, not with this energy. I, I think let's calm you're down. You're the one that said you have you're bad not, energy. I, no, we let's, don't. I, I you and like I need to talk on a yeah, separate I'm kind of way, but you're yourself. not going to talk to me like that. Like, no, 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 no. Brandy and Malaysia each have strong personalities. I really feel like that each of them need to sit down and look at the other one's point of view and stop pointing the finger. Y'all got to get this together, you grown-ass women. Seriously, guys, we got to keep it mother 100. These girls were friends for 15 years. Like, there is some hurt and anger between the two of them. We got to come together and help them get through that. We have to talk about things, so that's all I'm saying. So if you want to talk, we can go and talk on us. Y'all go talk, please. Go, Brandy. Go, Kyle. Well, come on. Yeah, y'all two go. I don't know where Brandy and I stand, because I do really love her. But if she attacks my character, I'm going to just walk away. I'm trying to stay calm right now. But there's... So many emotions running through me. She needs to know how much she's hurt me. It's like 14 years of friendship flashing in front of me. Okay, so you have all the aggression. What's the problem? I really don't have any aggression. My issue was that as soon as I walked in the wedding, I saw you kind of do this. So I know you and I know your energy. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I didn't address you, you know? Obviously, we have some underlining issues, um, but the thing is, we have history. So for us to be in the same room and just not say one word to each other, it was weird. And it was awkward as Just like this set, it's awkward as hell. You're right. It was a little awkward. It really hurt my feelings that you would say that I knew about your father and didn't reach out to you. You and I were not speaking when you had COVID and I, I almost lost my mind. I had to find it out from social media. So why would Wolf death be any, any different? Like what? To like, my interpretation, like to how I viewed it was that you were being petty. Why would I be petty on someone's death? It was, I think maybe Jackie or somebody came to me and told me that like, you told Jen we were good. And I said to them, well, if we're good, then why didn't she reach out to me in regards to my dad? Like, how would I know? But we have the same friend. I never knew. Don't let your ego win. My okay? ego is not. It's not. It has nothing to do with my ego. It has nothing to do with my ego. And what's second? It's you what, trying what's to tell thing? me how to be. You're rude as Malaysia. Okay. Like, you have a character flaw. That's not good. That's not good. You know, I did not bring Zell for you. I didn't bring him for anybody. I brought anybody him for Anybody that brings Zell know good. what they're I'm doing. Good. I'm okay. No, stop, stop no talking you me. shut up and you stop talking. talking. No, you shut up and you stop talking. Malaysia.
Tanisha's saying that she doesn't know the beef between Jen and Zell. Bitch, please, you brought him knowing that he was going to say something or stir up something at any given moment. You know what you were doing when you brought Zell to the, to the whole situation. I'm talking to Hold on. me. I'm talking if to you. If you were my friend. No, we're not friends. friends. We're not friends. Nice. We're not friends. I didn't want this. I have grown to a different person. I do not want to be fighting over stupid I did nothing to your friend. Okay, from my understanding, Brandy and Zell fell out a year ago, and he said something about her mom and her sister. It's been trying to talk to Zell. She's been DMing Zell. So did she not tell you that? She's been talking to him. She's been trying to reach out to him, talking about Zell, come see my new kitchen. All this so tell her to stop being fake. This okay. is for show. You've been sitting in your basement for four years looking for a reason. I am not the reason why you wasn't on the show. I'm not about to stop my job because you didn't keep your mouth closed. I did not do anything. She, if anything, I tried to get to keep you on the show, but nobody I else was there. I think she feels like you. you didn't have her back. I did. Of. I've been trying to keep the past in the past, but I just can't anymore. And I feel like the real reason why Brandy and I are not as close anymore is because she got kicked off the show. And for some reason, she blames me for it. I did not call you over and over pertaining to my job. You asked me specifically, do you have a job? Okay, okay. I never came at you on no boss, like I'm your boss, Brandy. Okay, you're right. Am I wrong? You're right, Malaysia, you're you always there. right. And now she's blaming tonight on Zell. But the only person she can blame her problems on is herself, period. What can I do if you're blaming me for something that I had no control is, is over? Is why y'all fell out? Because yes. I didn't know. OK. And I did the best that I could. I, st I filmed with her till the wheels fall off. She didn't want to film with me. I didn't know that. I knew the rift between Brandy and Malaysia had to do with more than just her not reaching out to her for the passing of her father. But I didn't know it went this deep. This is why I didn't want to talk to her. I mean, I definitely agree because some of it is just basically just trusting. Being trusting that like the person will, is able to receive what you're going through. You know, I have like been in my own shell and I kind of been saying that I've been, you know, having bad energy. And I'm the type of person when things are not going right in my life, I can't party. Like my, my mind, I'm tunnel vision is on how to fix my situation. And then Brandy, I'm sorry that I was a bad friend to you. That was never my intention. I have never been an intentional, mean person. And I would have never done anything to intentionally hurt you or do anything that make you feel less than a person. I don't think that you were a bad friend when we were like friends. When we were clicking and you was my bitch. <laughs> Everybody here that knew us knew that. Whether you knew about my dad or not, Malaysia, you say you did it. I'll go by you didn't know. But when you did find out and you knew how special and how much he meant to me, my family, how much he loved you, how much he loved our friendship, and for you not to acknowledge that when you knew, you know, like, what did I do to you for you to be, treat me like some girl off the street that you don't even know. I feel like we don't know each other. No, and I, it's I been do, three years. Yeah, I do have a lot of things that are going on in my life. And there's a lot of things that were going on in my life then yeah. that I chose not to share with you guys. I mean, like, you were the first person I called when I decided to leave Janeiro. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you was there throughout the whole situation when I decided that I was going to call the lawyer. So. It's just that sometimes you just don't want to put all that on your friends. And you said I already put a lot on you, so I just stopped. I am not going to put that off on you guys when you have 
babies and your own life. I'm a big girl, I can handle it myself. But I'm your sister. I understand that, but some things, when it is toxic and you have so many things going on in your life, you have to give it to God. Sometimes I just shut up and give it to God and I don't wanna talk about it. Sometimes I wanna come around you guys and I wanna have fun, but I can't cause y'all always arguing. Can you hug me? Can you mean it? Give her a hug. <laughs> I love y'all. Hearing Malaysia apologize, you know, after I don't know how long, really, it meant a lot. And, you know, hopefully she'll stick by that. That's sisterhood. That's what it is. That's what it f***ing means. <laughs> Especially last night, we could have fun. <laughs> and we have a lot of inside jokes about some of these bitches. That we <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's a casino theme party. It's a casino theme party for your dad. I mean, this is hubby. Oh my God, a surprise party for me? The fact that they were thinking about me instead is something I never expected. I am truly so surprised right now. Brandy, we really want you to feel appreciated okay. and loved. This is from us <laughs> to you. Oh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> We know you love cars, and we know your dad loves <laughs> We love you. And we know he was amazing. You shared with me at Joshua Tree all the amazing memories you had of him, and it really touched my heart. So we're happy to be able to do this for you. You guys are so sweet. I think these ladies are spot on with everything that they did in tribute to him. It's beautiful. Having a father that, that loved you and taught you how to love is the most powerful thing you could ever have. People love you, Brandy. Thank and you. if you would let me present you something else, I would like to do that. Okay. My hand is shaking right now. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down for this. Everybody, please give her a moment. Oh. Hey, Brandy. this space right now, but I didn't want to miss another big important moment in your life. I know how much your father meant to you, and I hope that this moment gives you a lot of peace and joy. And no matter what, at the heart and the core of it all, I still love you, and I'm always going to be there for you. I love you, Malaysia. Me and Malaysia have been through a lot in these last couple of months, but it means a lot that she called. Remember with like a rock star, you don't want no tears, okay? <sighs> Bye, Malaysia. We Bye. love you. This side of Malaysia is reminding me of the girl that I once was friends with. So maybe we can have that again. Shots for everybody. <laughs> Hi, it's Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.